All right, welcome back to Dale Kramer's Custom Cars and Anything. Well, like I said in the last video, I wasn't going to show welding everything up, you know. So what I did this morning is I, well, last night I welded everything up, the perimeter frame. And then I went to work, and then I, uh, this morning I slid the rear end under there, the pickup cab, I put, just slid on there. Everything's just kind of dummied into place. But we'll start here, but I even put a receiver on it right away. Yeah, I figured might as well that in while I was at it. So I put a receiver on her. And then a couple strengthening gusses and maybe utilize them for pickup box mounts. Still would have to be more mounts welded to this. There's that Dana 60 that I did with the disc brake conversion. That's got four tens in it, power lock, I believe, Posi. Uh, four tens for sure. Um, and then I put the disc brake conversion kit on it with geometric brakes, you know, but four and a half inch pattern for a Dodge for Mopar. So you can see that on another video if you click on my playlist, you know. And then so, what else? So then I marked out axle center line. This thing. This thing here is going to have a six foot box on it. So it'll be like four by six or something like that. Um, I got all the material there to build it. I'm going to build my own box. I'm not going to put a flatbed on it. I think that's too cheap. But take the time and put a box on it. Make a box. Don't know what type of fenders. It's going to have fenders on it. Don't know what type yet. And there's the Mustang 2 front end. Welded that all on last night. And this bar going across and this bar going across. That's just to support everything. That's not welded on or nothing. I ordered actual Model A frame ears. Someone around a 32 grill shell on here. With the rods going forward. And then I'm going to be using that stuff over there for the firewall. Aluminum diamond plate. So... Yeah, so that'll be the firewall. I guess she's got a long ways to go yet here, though. But yeah, but uh, so yeah, so I got that all welded in. I got the, I don't know if you can kind of see how I converted it from two by three quarter inch wall to two by four three sixteenths wall. I converted it over to, and I put gussets in there, like I said I was going to do. And, uh, yeah, I, I could have took a video of the frame by itself, but I figured you guys would get the picture, you know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start, um, I'm going to, I want to get the rear end mounted. So, and I'm going to pull a trailer with this, and I'll, I'll pull my little car. You can look on a in my playlist. It's called Little Car, and uh, you can see that little one seater thing. And uh, I want to pull that to the track, so I'm going to use this, to, you know. And uh, I gusted up that receiver hitch, but I think I might throw another gusset in there. I'm not done with that yet. I got to put chain mounts and everything on it. So, but this gets it going, you know. And. Uh, so, but yeah, and then, yeah, it'll have a 727 in it with the 5.7 Hemi, you know, that I took out of the Model A. It's on another playlist. If you go around on my playlist, you can kind of capture my life, so to speak, how I live it. I got a dog out here, a puppy. There's the table I built, too. That's on another playlist. Mm -hmm. uh, she's sitting in her chair. That's her chair. Right, Mindy? That's your chair. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick update. It's a quick little video. But uh, we're going to be videoing now more of putting the, installing the rear end. And, and uh, I'm hoping to use leaf springs. Um, because the thing is, I just want to be able to drive this to Lewisburg, Tennessee to... to uh, see my cousin and talk I'd like to talk to Derek from Vice Group Garage I'd like to stop there and say hello and uh, 
Actually, I'd like to drive this all the way down there. I think it'd be fun. It's going to have AC in it, um, heat and everything. I'm putting this the first one I ever built with all that in it. Don't know if I'm going to paint it yet. You know, let me know. What would you do? Clear the patina? Maybe fix a couple of them dents? Like, that's a, that's a gash there. And then the rockers are just bent up right now. They're actually solid. They're just bent up. So they had this thing on a pallet. Nobody took the time to, you know, they just threw it on a pallet. And it's, I don't know, people sometimes don't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put AC in it, heat, 5.7 Hemi, 727 torque flight. I'm thinking, though, I might rebuild the A5-18 overdrive because I got, the problem is I got four tens in the back here. So we might have to go with overdrive yet. That 727 might have to go up for sale. And it's all rebuilt, you know. It's probably got maybe, I don't know, 3,000 miles on it maybe. It's the long shaft, 727. But anyway, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? This is kind of cool in the back window. I was going to show you guys that. Hazardous Waste Car Club. Hmm, pretty cool. They're actually out of Wilmer. Greg Tice, one of my good friends, he owns it. So, car club from hell, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this thing must have been a rat rod or something at one time, or they just stuck it in there. Because I got this all cut out and tried to cover in where the battery went. I kind of like where the battery goes. Maybe I'll keep it there. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But uh, the floors and everything in this thing are just absolutely superb. I mean, look at how solid that is. I mean, so that's going to make this go a lot easier. Well, like I say, then in the front, and actually, I should have got that out. I should have put that on there, dummy that on there. You guys could see that. I'm putting a 32 grill shell in this thing and uh, 32 radiator and all that stuff, but not the chop one, the tall one, you know, the factory one, I should say, not the 17 inch tall one. Because this thing isn't going to be super lowered to the ground or nothing. It's going to run stock spindles, must think two spindles in the front. And uh, I don't want anything that's low. I'm so dang tall, you know. I'm not even going to chop the top or nothing on here. I think that looks kind of cool where it is right now. Let's see what's here. Let's back up here. Um, back up without falling over. Kind of get a view of it. And the back axle, I put that halfway in the box. So, and if the box is six foot long, that would mean it would be three foot in the center. You know what I mean? Three foot and three foot. Because I don't like it when they're too far back. I don't like it when they're too far forward. I think center of the box looks nice. So that's the way that'll be. And, uh, yeah, it should be a fun truck. I want to be able to drive this anywhere. You know? But, yeah, that's, I don't know. I still think I should do a A518. See, I got the Hemi, Hemi over here. You know, we took that out of the Model A and put that 400 in there. Now I got the Model A for sale for 14,000. Uh, firm, that is. After seeing the cost of the metal, you know, it, it blew me away. All that metal for the box right there in those three sheets of tin in this metal frame that I built was close to $1,100. Just insane. I asked the owner, so how, why, why did it go up? And he couldn't give me an answer. And if you can't give me an answer, I'm going to call it corporate greed. You know, a lot of people, they use that, I think, for an excuse. But anyway, back to positive stuff. But yeah, this Hemi's going to go in there. And uh, then there's the 727, you know. I even got another rebuilt 727 on the shelf, too. That one's got a shift kit in it. This one does not. 
So I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think A518 should go in there. I think I should discard the 727 idea. So I think I'm going to be on the lookout. The more I think about it with the 410s and I want to cruise down the highway. You know, not whining. <laughs> screaming. Watch the rods pass you up. You know, and Challenger. That's got four tens in it. I built up A518 and put that in there. That's on another playlist if you look that up. And uh, if you click on playlist, you can see all this separate stuff. You don't have to watch through everything. But with that A518 in there, let me tell you, that is super nice. It is. It's, that thing wants to do 140 miles an hour. I mean, it wants to. With that overdrive. You kick that overdrive in, you don't even know. You know. Yeah, I got 29 by 18 fives in the back, Mickey Thompson's, you know. But still, though, it's just nuts. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go after another A518. As I stand here, I'm kind of convincing myself I should. But I got a couple nice 727s that can go up for sale. Small block, you know, where you can put them behind your 57, you know, or 6.4s or whatever. Any new generation Hemi they'll fit in front of, or behind, I should say. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's, I'm still looking. If you guys know anybody that's got a 41 Dodge window frame, you know, they said they're just gluing their windows in. But, no, I I, I like the frame because it folds out in, uh, I don't know what it is, three inches or something. I don't know, maybe more or less, I don't know, whatever. But I like to put that in there because it's got the split windshield then, you know? So, I think it looks pretty cool. So, I am looking for one. Um, then I need some window regulators. I need a dash glove box and I mean, just a glove box. Um, yeah, but uh, please... Bloop, 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 the bottom, whatever, you know, in the comment section. And I'll get a hold of ya. But, uh, yeah. But that Model A, I think for 14000 bucks after seeing the cost of this metal, that's actually a good deal. I don't think you could build anything cheaper no more. But anyway, I will let you guys go. And this is just a fast video. Dana's going to look nice in there. Dana 60. That looks nice already. And then I got, like I say, the receiver. So, so we can pull a little car over there. That's underneath the car cover over there. We can pull that one to the track. Or we can haul a few things and I want to utilize it. Have fun with it. And turn the AC on if it's hot. Heat on if it's cold. But anyway... Please like and subscribe, guys. I, I appreciate it when you do subscribe. I really do. You know, it's going to help this channel eventually to grow and and uh, become something. And uh, I would absolutely, absolutely thank you guys for that. But you guys take care, okay? Happy holidays. Bye-bye.